Here we are looking at a sample program that was submitted as a comment to Lesson 12.7. And the purpose of this program is to create a string of text, hello, and then to change it so that it's all capital letters and output the final string, which is hello in all capital letters. Now the program doesn't work, and we're going to explore why. So first of all, the purpose of this line of code is to create a string of text in memory consisting of the string hello and to create a pointer called string that points to the first character of that string. In other words, it's going to be pointing specifically to the H. This line of code does not do that. And the reason is because of this ampersand character, which is unnecessary. Whenever you have a string of text enclosed in double quotes, you do not need an ampersand operator because it's already understood that you're going to be needing the memory address. Remember, anytime you are working with any data that is larger than a single variable of a, of a given basic data type, like integer or character, you are going to be using a pointer and therefore you need the memory address. So we take out the ampersand and now we have achieved that goal. We have a pointer named string which is pointing to the string of text. But we have a problem which is whenever you create a string of text like this you are creating it as a constant not as a variable. The difference between the two is that a constant is unchangeable, or it's meant to be unchanged, and a variable can be changed. So if we want the pointer to be pointing to a string of text that can be changed, we need to create that string of text as an array. And we do it like this. And then what we'll do is we will point our pointer string to my string, like that. Now what we have is an array of characters called my string, which consists of the string of text, hello, and of course the null, whoops, the null character at the end, which will terminate the string. Here we're creating a pointer called string, and we're pointing it to the string of text, hello, but we're using an array because that way we can change it. Remember, a constant you can't change, and an array you can. So if your goal is to change a string of text, you need to create that string of text as an array. Now we're, let's look at the rest of the logic. So now we have a while loop which says while the value is less than 10. Now since the value started as 5, that means we're going to go through each of the 5 characters. That's fine. And then we're going to call this change function. And in context, we can see that this printf statement is designed to print a character, which is going to be the capital version of what was at the, the pointer string. So that means that something needs to happen with this function that's going to change the character. So we can think of this in terms of before and after. Before this function is called, this will be H. And after it's called, this will be capital H. Now, in order to do that, we're going to need to send something to the function, which will be the memory address of what we want to change. So we do that like so. Now we're calling the change function and we're sending the memory address to this h. By sending the memory address we can then change it within the function. Now that means that the function is now going to be receiving a parameter. What kind? It's going to be receiving a care pointer parameter. So let's go ahead and change the declaration here which says that it returns an integer and receives no parameters, and we're going to say that it does receive a parameter. It receives a pointer of type care. Now we have to give it a name within the function, so we'll call it 
my character. Now we'll do the same thing down here. And now, because we're calling it my character inside of the function, we can go ahead and change the instances of string to my character. Okay, so let's look at the first line of code here. We don't need a line of code that tells the function the memory address of the character we're working with because we give that to the function. So what we can do here is delete this line of code and we're almost done. Remember that in the case of a capital letter, the third bit is set to zero and in the case of a lowercase letter, the third bit is set to one. So this operation, this XOR operation, is going to toggle that third bit because this will become a two in hexadecimal and this will become a zero which is why we have the OX20. So this is fine. The problem is we're not we're evaluating this expression but we're not saving it anywhere we're not doing anything with it so all we need to do here is set what is at that memory address equal to that expression. Now when we call the function change and we send it the the pointer string we're going to receive that pointer and then we're going to change what is at that memory address to what is at that memory address XOR with this hexadecimal value which is going to change the H to an H. Now if we run this program, you will see that it works.